I think being a parent is such an important role because it really shapes the next generation and the future of our ethos, direction, values, the gamut, right? It's not just your family unit, it, it shapes society as a whole. So I do think there's a huge responsibility for women in particular to teach their daughters to be fearless and confident. That's a big one. So if there's any way to shout that from a megaphone, and I strongly believe in things like teaching women to compete, teaching girls to compete, whether it's through sports or through any other talent and being very, you know, not, not, not taking a backseat to anyone and teaching them to be confident and being outspoken. It's not, it's, it is not okay to teach girls to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and to teach boys to take risks. I really want that whole, it's, it's the fault lies on us if they've grown up that way, like that. And also teach boys to be more human and, and to be express that humanity. And there's no shame in any of that. So yeah, I'd love for us as parents to break down all these stereotypes. First and foremost, I want them to always consider me as a huge ally. I don't want them and that doesn't mean that doesn't mean they have to tell me everything and I need to know everything not at all but I want to be their crutch and shelter and rock and safety and cocoon whenever they want you know mm -hmm. I want to be that for them always and I want to be uh, I want us to be a source of happiness in each other's lives whether it's cuddling on the couch and watching Netflix or whether it's traveling together or enjoying good food together or going for runs together or whatever it is just yeah it's 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 it's, lo it's lovely right it's been different challenges and and for us there's this other unique challenge of being a, a different identities because I grew up in India mm -hmm. expectation I go back every year my parents are still there. I still consider that very much home along with Chicago. And uh, values and uh, values and expectations straddling the two, both for myself, trying to figure out who I am and what I want them to be has been always very difficult, you know? It's not as if the US is all progressive and India is all conservative, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. What really shook me and took me aback was to see how in the US, being intelligent is, a, is, is, is worn as a badge of shame hmm. as kids in school. Because then you're not part of the cool crowd, you're a nerd, you're a geek. Yeah. To, be, to be, you know, in, uh, strong in STEM or to say you want to be an activist, or to be any of those wonderful bright things is not considered hip or cool. And so that tussle and convincing my kids to be confident enough to just ignore the social herd, which is getting increasingly and increasingly tougher with social media and all of that, that has been a huge challenge also. And then last year was a pivot for me when the whole universe froze and we were at most at risk as women restaurateurs because they are underfinanced, we are not mega restaurant groups, we don't have the support and infrastructure that groups do. That's when I started Let's Talk Women with the, with the goal of being meaningfully supportive to each other. You know, you think as a parent that uh, it ends with, you know, at some point schooling or getting them to college, but it really doesn't. And in fact, it, it feels like we're constantly, I think for me, the balance is between letting my daughters be their own people versus constantly trying to mold them into what I want them to be. That, that's my that's my challenge especially especially as a strong parent and my husband is also an equally strong parent 
for us to to give them the latitude to make their own mistakes and discover themselves and it is always a tussle for us if that makes sense 